Hello my lovelies, welcome back to my channel. My name is Debbie and today I have an unboxing and sort of an update. First of all, first of all, I will say that Millie is down here. She's decided to come up and just lie in front of me. So she might like pop her head up or you might just see her nose. So I do apologise for this. But it's easier just than trying to get her to leave because this room, it, we're meant to be going through like all our clothes to get ready to go to charity shops and we've just not got round to it at the minute. We've had sort of bouts of injuries and health and then this week I got my COVID vaccine and I've not been feeling great since that. So I've had to move stuff so the door's kind of blocked so she can't get out but if she was outside she would just moan. So it's easier to have her in here. If you suddenly see a dog nose that's what that is. Um, it's just Millie. I also want to apologise. I know that at the moment my channel is just sort of unboxings and the occasional dog video. I am sort of working on it again. I've had sort of health stuff and headaches and it's just been a day. It's been a while, right? It's been a day, but it's been going on for months. <laughs> so I've not had a chance. I'm still doing the same Mary's vlog. As you guys know, I normally do like a weekly vlog, but I'm just working on this one just now. Um, I am trying to get more content and getting time to do content, but with work at the minute, it's just so hectic. I've trying to get appointments to set up my new hearing aids and now I'm on a waiting list for new hearing aids so it's all just going everywhere to be honest with you. Um, but I just want to update you guys that I am working on new content, new videos, new blog posts and I will get to you guys as soon as possible. I'm so sorry. I've tried to upload as fast as I can but it's finding time to to film. So anyway on to the the reason we are here, so I'm here because I have a new unboxing, as you can see I've already torn it open, um, but I haven't looked inside yet. So this is my subscription from the Tea Time Bookshop. I actually changed my subscription, but I'll go into that a bit more in a minute. Uh, so the Tea Time Bookshop is an online book subscription company. You can have a monthly uh, subscription, three months, six months or twelve months. You get to choose what genre of book you have. If you don't really know what one, you have a surprise me box, which is really, really good. And um, that's the one that I get. You get the option of tea, coffee, or hot chocolate to come with your subscription. And you get the option of biscuits. And they also have a gluten-free um, option. So it's really, really good. It's really, really cheap. I get two books, hot chocolate and biscuits, and it's like 10 a month or something, it's really, really good. I will pop a link below. It's not an affiliates link, but it does give me 10% off and it gives you 10% off if you use the link. We both get a, a code to use to get for that link. So, on with the boxing, unboxing. Bear with, sorry. So the first thing out of the box is the bookmark. You get a bookmark with every single subscription. Uh, so this one just says, one best book is equal to 100 good friends, but one good friend is equal to a library. So I've got an ever-growing collection of bookmarks now, just piling up on my on my bookcase up there. So as well as the bookmarks in each box, you also get a literary postcard, which is like it's just a postcard with the covers on it. I love these. Some of these designs are absolutely beautiful. Um, I've got a book, a photo album for, for mine which I love, it's it's huge. Um, and I've, I'm only on like the second page of filling it or something. I absolutely love these. And they're just like a nice touch to go in, in with them. It's just something different. So you get one of those in, in every box as well. And like I said, you also get biscuits. So I've got uh, these ones. I don't get the gluten-free ones. I just have normal, normal gluten-y biscuits. <laughs> um, they're always really good as well. These are, these are Butterscotch Crunch. So the, the biscuits come in all different flavours. They're normally really, really good. So before I mentioned that I have changed my subscription, if you've seen my other unboxings, um, you'll know that I normally get tea in my boxes. And it was okay for a while, but I started to notice that I was getting the tea, but then not drinking them. So I had like this massive stockpile of flavoured tea in my cupboard and each one that I had I wasn't really that keen on. I'm not a huge fan of herbal tea but I I thought I would enjoy the tea more than I enjoyed anything else. I don't drink coffee or that. And recently hot chocolate has been really growing on me and I figured that a stockpile of hot chocolate is better than a stockpile of tea because 
I'm always going to have a hot chocolate, do you know what I mean? And if James wants, James can have them as well. So I changed my subscription to hot chocolate instead of tea. So this is, I don't think it's a specific flavour apart from chocolate. Yep, no, it's just chocolate. So on to the reason for booktube is books. So the first book out is First Light by Bill Rank. Rankick? I don't know if that's how you say your na his name, I'm sorry, but I'm going to say Bill Rankick. So, so First Light is about a couple who are in a, a plane crash and she's badly injured. He has some sort of survival skills and he decides to make the trek to look for help. I'm not entirely sure if they go together or if he goes out and leaves sort of the survivors to bring help back to them. I'm not entirely sure. So I might be told if they're left behind if he goes off on his own, it might be told be told from two different people's perspectives. Imagine it'll be him while he's going and her while she's left behind. So that looks really good. Does it say? It doesn't say. I thought I could maybe like have a wee sheet of the chapters, but it didn't. It doesn't say. Now I should have learned my lesson from doing that last time when I <laughs> when I read it and so a spoiler. Too close. I never learn. But this looks really good. So that's first light by Bill Rankick. The second book, what's well, huge? So the second book out is Critical Incidents by Lucy Whitehouse. This one is about a woman who was a, a police officer who's been um, fired for not following orders. She returns to her hometown where everyone is happy to see that she's been brought down a peg or two now that she's working as a benefit fraud investigator. But when her best friend, who's the only one that's happy that she's home, when her husband is seen as a murder suspect, he, she starts her own private investigation to get to the truth of what's going on. Now, admit it, right? I've only read the back once or twice. That was a good synopsis. <laughs> That's unusual for me, but that was a not, that was a not bad synopsis. <laughs> I don't know if it's right, <laughs> but that's what I get from the back. Uh, this one looks really good as well. It looks absolutely huge, but it looks really good. The back, the back says, "Trust me, you'll want to see, you'll want to know what happens." That's that's what I expect from a book. I want to know what happens in a book. That's sort of basic. <laughs> that's basic one. Um, that also looks really good. That's quite a bright cover for what looks to be quite a dark topic. I mean, I know it's got a match in the middle, but I don't know if the colour maybe doesn't match the book because even the back is like yellow white, and even that looks quite bright. Hmm, I don't know. I don't know, but it also looks really good. So there we go, two books, they both look really good, they both look really interesting, and they're different, which is really good. You don't really want, like... This is why I picked the Surprise Me box, because I don't want two crime books or two romance books. These both look like they're different. One's survival, one's a crime investigation. Loving it. So once again, Tea Time Bookshop. Excellent book choices. So that's it guys, that's my unboxing for June. Oh my god, how is it Ju how is it June already? I don't even know. Um, but that's my unboxing for June and my little sort of update of what's going on, what's happening and about this room in case you cared about this room. As usual, I will post like synopsises below and my referral link to the Tea Time Book Shop if you are interested in that. Um, they're UK based so I don't know if you're watching if you're in another country if they deliver there I'm not sure you'll have to check with their sort of website directly. Uh, I'll also post all my show my socials below. I've spent about two weeks trying to update all my socials. I got Twitter, finally I got Twitter uh, about a month ago and I, I keep forgetting I have it so I keep forgetting to update it <laughs> and the only people I follow on it are like I think I have a couple of booktubers on there and Mark, Mark Hamill and some anime voice actors I follow as well. I'm rubbish, I'm rubbish at Twitter. So if you see me and you think I'm doing something wrong, let me know and I'll be like, okay, I'll fix that for future. Um, I've also updated my uh, my coffee page. I totally forgot about my coffee page. Um, so if you want to support this page, I would greatly, greatly appreciate it. There's a link below to my coffee uh, and to my website, which is which has my blog which I post all about different things, not just books. Um, I also post about Wicca. I've just today um, posted one about Letha, which is tomorrow, which is the summer solstice. And I 
post about my disabilities if anyone's interested in that so there's loads of different things on my blog and I've just updated it so it looks all pretty uh, I just need to work out how to put my photography on it I've no idea how to do that yet but until next time guys stay safe look after yourselves enjoy life read a book comment below what are you reading at the moment do you have a book subscription where's your book subscription to have you read any of these books I've never heard of any of them so I don't know how sort of well known they are if you've read any of them let me know what you thought about them and I and I promise that I will try and an update I'll upload some videos a bit more often now that I've got my fancy thing to hold my my phone for filming now have you noticed you might not have noticed that this this is straight have you seen it like I noticed all my my unboxings in the past have been a bit squint <laughs> but this one's straight <laughs> um thanks to my fancy rig uh, so yes, I will try and upload some new content and keep you up to date a bit more. But other than that guys, I will see you next time. Mwah.